Making possessives in Mongolian is not as complicated as it looks in this chart. There is a pattern in how possessives are constructed. Although there are different spellings for different possessives, they all basically require you to add an E sound to the end of words. Ni, in, e, n. Okay, it's not exactly true all the time, as the last row of the chart shows, but in general possessives involve adding an E sound to the end of words. This is not too different from putting apostrophe S at the end of English words. It's important to remember this as you dive into the details of the chart. The rules for how to construct the possessives can be thought of as spelling rules, and as you learn Mongolian and your pronunciation improves, you will find that many of the rules are just a natural result of the most expedient and comfortable way to form the sounds in your mouth and vocal cords, rather than an evil plot by linguists to make learning Mongolian even more difficult. There are patterns. But of course, there are lots of irregular examples such as B, I, becoming mini, my, and these will have to be learned as they pop up. Ignoring the details of the chart, let's look at the possessive equivalents of personal pronouns. Mini, Tani, Chini, Tuni, Bitni, or Bitnarin, Tanarin, Tidni, or Tidnarin. With the exception of B and Mini, and Ter and Tuni, the other words follow the general pattern we see in the chart of modifying the word by adding an E sound. Here are some examples using general words, again without focusing on the details of the chart. To, to ni, shire, shire ni, tsong, tsong ni, tsung, tsung ni, mot, mot ni, shal, shal ni, hol, hol ni, ul, ul ni, otis, Otsni Old Oldin Han Hanin Zorg Zorgin Tawa Tawagin Du Dugin Sonnen Sonnenni Unin Unini Amten Amteni Bashing Bashingin Dung Dungin Noho Nohoin Moro Moroin Oi Oin Dadai Dadain Gahai Gahain Using question words and the rules for making possessives, we can construct more complex questions. Taking Hing and yo, as examples, we get hini, yuni. Some example questions are in hini nom be, in baksin nom, in yuni tuthur we, in mashini tuthur. A final aspect of possessives that is important to be aware of is that oftentimes the possessive form functions the same way of is used in English. For example, Mongol Dosin Ix Surgol, National University of Mongolia, literally Mongolian Nations University. Mongol Hithni Nom, Book of Mongolian Language, or literally Mongolian Languages Book. Other examples abound, and they are not hard to find in everyday speech and writing. As such, mastering the rules for recognizing and eventually creating possessives is a critical skill.